as if anyone cares what those two awful little boys are presenting. And as for Captain Underpants, what kind of stupid name is that? Okay, that's much better. Professor Poopy Pants presents the Professor Poopy Pants totally original and super cool guide to being a villain. Hiya, everyone. Not feeling evil enough, hmm? Well, you're in luck. PP here with a few little pro tips to poopify your super villain game. A disclaimer, no money back guarantee. Advice given is not legal, ethical, or financially sound. Now, let the poopageddon begin. Rule number one. There are no rules, dummy. Rules are for losers. You want to be a super villain or what? Sheesh. Having said that, there are a few little things you may need as we venture forth down the road to total evil and megalomania. First, a simple goal is good. World domination is a classic. Some like to go with holding a major city ransom for a huge and arbitrary amount of money. Personally, I like to keep it simple. Get rid of laughter. Secondly, you'll need... I know, I know. Ask me, ask me, ask me. What? A sidekick. What? No, don't be stupid, Melvin. Why would I, Professor Poopy Pants, possibly need a sidekick? Oh. No! Secondly, you'll need a cover for all your nefarious activities. You could go with successful titan of industry, but I prefer something a little more unexpected, yeah? Here I am, applying for a job in the thriving public school system. But make sure your cover doesn't interfere with your true secret agenda. <laughs> Oh, by the way, going to need Fridays off and every other Tuesday through Thursday for my evil experiments. Then, of course, you'll need your basic villain's toolkit. Extra sharp battle axe? Check. Trio of dynamite? Present. Nunchuck of death? Here. Bubbling beaker of poison? In stock? Possessed bear trap? Come on down. Extra fatal chainsaw? Accounted for. And don't forget the cherry on top. Cage in a briefcase. Look at that, yeah. Okay, what have we covered? The simple goals, jobs that hide your true nature, evil technology. Did we do really cool bad guy names yet? Because obviously I have that one down, yeah. Professor P.P. Diarienstein, Poopy Pants Esquire. And last, but not least by any means, the one thing every supervillain has to have, a giant robot attack toilet! <laughs> okay, look, I know that might not be every supervillain's choice, but you get lemons, you make lemonade. So there you have it. Everything you need to bend the common people to your will and rule the world with an iron fist. Try it. It's fun. There is one other thing you're forgetting, Professor P. Don't you even think about saying it, Melvin. No side. Your nemesis. Huh? What, what is this now? You know, the good guy that always stops you just in time. What? In your case, no, no, please, that's please. Captain no, 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 Underpants. No, 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 no. Tra la la!